Hi guys, uh, this little video is hopefully going to help you familiarize yourself and use the CAD image tool, uh, CAD image window tool that is, because that's the tool that we use for nearly every external opening and any buildings that we work on on our courses. And uh, I think the only thing that may not be used with the CAD image window tool would be a garage door but nearly every other type of door, surface sliders, bifolds, we use this CAD image window tool because it's got a lot of detail in it, but that can also add some complexity. Now, I don't know how far you may have got with uh, any windows thus far. So basically what I'm going to do is um, just kind of assume that you maybe have got as far as page 30, and then I'll start off on page 31 of the book. So I'm gonna to go to the window tool and I'm gonna click uh, here and make sure I'm in the CAD image window tool. Now I'm just going to change uh, the parameters based on what we've got uh, to on page 31. So if you look at that at the top left it says 1800 and then it says uh, 1350 and I believe the cell to wall base they put in is 850. Now don't worry about what you're seeing here in the preview because we have to change this. Uh, so I'm basically gonna um, add a couple of panels. So I think down here, uh, you may already have show two panels working here. So I'm gonna select another one. And I believe the we don't need these to be doors. So the one on the left, I think we just, uh, well, none of them are selected at the moment, but if I make the one on the left selected, I'm gonna say, okay, that one is a fixed pane. And then this one here, I'm going to make it an awning, uh, which let's see, it's this one. And now I don't want this one on the left to be an awning, so I'm just going to have to select that again and change it back. So I had multiple panes selected, so that's a bit more like it. And to make it look like the one on the top left of page 31, just make sure you've got the one on the right selected with the right uh, hand window with a red line around it. And then we're gonna make this a grid by just saying, give me three panels there. And that looks pretty much like what we've got um, on the preview. Uh, the only thing that's not quite right there is I think the, the one on the right, we should make that, I think it says fixed width. And then if we make that 600, you'll see that it looks more like what we've got in the preview. Now what ArchiCAD then says, or what they've asked us to do is to place this from the top right hand corner. So I'm gonna just use the placement from this side. And if I go up here and zoom in, you can see how the little anchor point is on the corner. And I just put the cursor there until I get the check mark, but I haven't clicked because I wanna locate it 800 millimeters in and from the corner. So I'm just going to go X, 800, and then hit minus. And then I hit enter. And then what Archie Cat asks you to do is to imagine you're at the outside looking at the item and then click to the left. And that's what we've got. Now, this time, I think if we look at what they want us to do on the page uh, 32, they want us to do the same thing on the other side, but we'll have to change this anchor point and then I just place that on a corner. Now don't worry if it goes vertically at the stop, just remember not to click. And then I'm gonna go X and I'm gonna go 800 plus and then click enter. Now this side, because we wanna get a, like a mirrored version, I'm not gonna click on the left, I'm gonna click on the right. And what that has done is give me the smaller panes which are kind of adjacent to each other. And we'll have a look at 3D. And if I orbit around the building, uh, you'll see that we've got those two windows with the kind of mirrored versions of each other. If you go F2, it takes you back into uh, the floor plan. And this is where we can then start to do this fairly complicated one they want us to put in, which is the kind of bifold doors. So we just open up the uh, settings dialog again. Now, take it very slowly because this can be tricky. So if we look at page 32, and we've gone through all that. We've come to the bottom of page 33. Uh, we're going to change quite a lot of things on page 33. So let's go to uh, the glazing panel set out. And I think one of the first things they want us to do is check the sizes. So this actually is the bottom left of page 32. So my apologies for jumping around the pages. If you look at that diagram, it says the width is 24 not not. And the height is going to be uh, 2200. So what we'll do is make 
the 8 2 2 not not and I'm going to make the cell to wall base 0 and then what we have to do is we have to delete one of these panels the one with the awning so all we got to do is highlight it and go minus and then you've got a one big mass of pain as we can see in this elevation preview now what we want to do here is uh, look out at the top of page 33 it says change to extras but the new version of ArchiCAD doesn't have this extras thing so what you can do is just actually go to glazing panel set out I believe and when you go to fixed pane change that to door and then what we want to do with that door is make sure it opens towards the exterior and then we want to make sure it's got two leaves so you just click this one's the right hand side and this one sorry left hand side right hand side now once you've got those settings checked you can then go to the glazing panel set out and there should be one just below it called doors and I think that's where we're able to pick the bifold so it may already be a surface slider if it is or if it's any other type just change it to bifold now um, when you've got the bifold done I think you can then go to door leaf and uh, well actually it's door leaf type and they seem to like the center one with the glass panel so just choose that and make sure the panel's set to glass and I think then we just got to check the display options so if you go and bring out this pop-out menu again and go to the very bottom display options you may find that that hinged angle is 90 degrees change it to 70 for both sides and uh, we can then click OK and we should be able to put the, the door in but the very first thing we've got to do is make sure you've got the center anchor point selected so if I click that and then click to the outside of the wall I get that little black line which tells me it's the center so I click there and then I click to the outside and to the left and there's your bifold doors and if we go to 3D all they've turned up where we want them to turn up and that's great so if I go F2 go back to the plan I think the next one that they want us to put in is one in the bathroom so uh, they're saying that it's very similar to the one in the kitchen and dining so what we'll do is we'll just use the eyedropper to pick up the parameters and then we'll just go to the settings and from those settings we're just going to make it uh, 1200 wide and then uh, it's still 2200 high so I think basically 1315 850 will be okay um, what we've done now is actually I've just realized that this one on the right is probably going to be left as a um, three grid because that's the bathroom window and I had jumped on to the, the front door first so I'll, I'll, let me just keep this the way it is and then we'll just go to the bathroom and put it on the center but don't forget to change your anchor point to the center click here and then to the left as we look in okay uh, and that means we should have if I go F3 you should be able to see the bathroom window which we just created and if I just zoom into that yeah it looks to be 1200 wide with both panels pretty much the same size F2 should take us back and uh, basically we're going to now do some bedroom sliding doors and they make a point at the bottom of page 34 that we're still going to use the uh, CAD image window tool so what we'll do is make sure you're still in that tool click the settings and then we're going to change the preview and positioning make it 2 4 not not and uh, basically the height we should make sure that that's going to be 2 2 0 0 and the cell to wall base will be zero and uh, then what we're going to do is I think basically change the uh, what is on the right hand side and just say fit to available width because we want both of these things to be the same size and then we want to keep that one selected and change to five okay so that's the awning on the right hand side so I'm going to deselect that and then I'm going to go to this left panel which is at the moment a fixed pane and I'm going to change that to a door and I think then what we're going to do we want to make that a surface slider so I think if we just go below that to doors make sure that's selected it's actually a bifold at the minute so what we're going to do is make sure that they've only got one leaf ok 
Okay. Uh, you may have to make this a zero to make it one door. And then what we'll do is change it to surface slider. And hopefully that should represent what we uh, want to see. Um, yeah, so that takes us down to the bottom of page 35. And we've already, I think it is glass, but you can, I'll just check this door leaf type again and see if it's glass. Yeah, it seems to be glass, so hopefully we're okay with that. Um, we're going to place it by the center point again, so I'll just click OK. I've checked all my parameters. It's by the center point, so I'm just going to go in here and it's picking up the center point here between the two wall intersections. I'm going to click it to the left, and this one I'm going to pick up, click to the right. And basically, if I go 3D all, there's their uh, surface sliders. Now, they may be slightly different from what's in the elevation, but you know how to do it. Uh, this video is getting a wee bit long, so I'm going to stop it now, because I think to do the front door, which is what they start to describe uh, later on, I think on page 37 or page 36, you probably have enough skills now to have a go at that yourselves. And if you have any issues, we'll try and troubleshoot them in class. So thank you for your attention and hope you find this useful.